So I've been thinking about doing this for for a while, or just for today. But I have some special news for, for all of y'all. Okay. First of all, my name is Malik, or Demas. People call me, but like um, we have. I want to cover some things. Okay. Because this news right here is going to be too long for me to type on a 3TP website, all right? So, when it comes to certain news and all that stuff, this is going to be like this, okay? A video format. Make sure about freaking like. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> the, the, today's news is basically the summer season news. That's just a you know label right now because we in the summer and we kicked off this wonderful summer with see our fire pro crash and seas storm surge tournament a um round robin tag team tournament winner gets a tag team title shot either in the road or TV but yeah but this is zero news so we going so I'm going to tell you what's going on during the summer for this league all right so starting on the AOW side of things AOW is going to have their their infamous zero one Grand Prix tournament. Zero one Grand Prix, even though if, if you look at the screen, you can barely see the zero and the one. But the zero one Grand Prix is one of their historic tournaments that they always hosted in the summer. And it will lead into September where the summer ends and don't have the big show extravaganza. So the zero one tournament is a Robin Round round robin my god it's a round robin tournament with eight wrestlers two blocks four in each block but how do they pick the wrestlers that should be in the tournament they only pick the wrestlers that has a that is well is not favoritism in their way but they only pick the top dogs in the league in this federation to be in this tournament as we see we got two brackets alpha and beta alpha is going to be okabe terremoto kj dawson ishido misurani and nura junji rumors has it that ishido might be taken out of the tournament it might be it might be replaced with somebody else but as time flies by we're going to find out if if Ishido is ready to do this type of tournament and for beta is going to be Logan Cannon Kazuyahara Taiken Ter Toretta Manabu and and Kase Ryoko so that's for so that's beta and the Z1 GP, <laughs> the the zero one Grand Prix will kick off. I think it's either going to be this month, middle of this month, or July for this four v four eight man. Oh, I, I just messed up the whole thing. God damn it! But basically, <clears throat> eight wrestlers will be in this tournament four for each block and i hear some rumors that a former aow champion might come back to be in this tournament but we may never know because we could be still getting stuff together for the um tournament season that i like to call the tournament the summer tournaments that is going to happen throughout 2020. And sticking with AOW, at um, Power Surge, we cr they crowned a new AOW champion 
during the Mar Rivers and Logan Cannon match. Mar Rivers picked up the victory and became AOW champion. But there's some things that, that is kind of going on too. As you know, Mar Rivers is in a whole, is in other federations. And one of the federations he's also in is NAW. He was last wrestled Sunday for the Kings of Reckoning tournament. Yeah. And another thing, I think he's also in OWA, another federation that I'm cool with. It Outlaw Wrestling Alliance, that's another federation that, that Marvel is in. And yeah. If now I gotta um, check to see if I got everything down packed. Oh yeah! Also, there, there there may be a let's watch wrestling episode. Well, not episode. Well, rest. Let's watch wrestling show for the power surge. Um, damn it! For for the power surge. Um, aftermath or fallout. I can't think of words today. Jesus, Christopher. As we transition to superstar news, surprisingly, because I'll be on with you, I like superstars, I really do. It's just the fact that um, when this they try to start a lot of stuff in the backstage area and try to you know get things together because it's the summer is going to be something. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something good. Like it's gonna be something good, okay? Oh shit, about to sneeze. Hold on. Wait. All right. Well, um, for superstars, they also going to have their own round robin tournament. I think. Basically, they doing this to see. Well, their tournament is called Best of the Joshi, so. It's going to be about the best of the Joshi. And this one also has two blocks to make things easier and to make things more competitive. The names about the um say are somewhat confirmed. Some some is majorly confirmed. And some might be switched around a little bit. Because they let us talk about it because they want to get exposure and they want to like literally just get things done or some of like that so block a is gonna be our star julie midas Mar- mariah palmer and superstar diva and block b lady mystique cassidy stewart that's the interesting name cassidy stewart nicole joshi and fawn i said that's interesting that that cassidy stewart in this tournament because she's technically a champion she is the first and current um, duo star champion with Rachel Barker. So this is kind of interesting because, of course, this term is going to see who the best of the Joshi and, and we'll get a title match for the jo- for the um, superstar championship. And probably not at a probably not at their biggest event, but probably you know it's like you get to challenge the champion anytime you can because you technically the best of the Joshi. So me saying that Cassie Stewart, it's just a little thought now. What if Cassie Stewart wins the tournament and Marcella's still superstar champion? And they in the same faction, OGs, OGs of America. But hey, that's just something, okay? Because I can't wait till this tournament is about to be fun. They're the the um best of the Joshi expected date is probably this month or July. I didn't say mid June because. Stuff is going to happen mid-June, or, I don't know, something, like, a big show is going to happen in June, okay? Hosted by Zero. 
this channel is going to have another sh big show. Well, a big show that that I could that basically we confirm in the, the 3TP website and we're going to talk about it here. Okay? So Best of the Joshis is coming soon. The f we got the eight women we split them up into four. Well, we split them, we split them up to two brackets, four in each bracket. So time for the other news. Pride is back from last year. I think it was June second, if I could remember. But yeah, last year, Xero put on a Pride show, and it went very well. Excellent show. Excellent matches. A fun Royal Rumble. Well, a Pride Rumble. Everybody had a good time. Everybody enjoyed themselves. And everybody loved this. So, we bring it back for a second time. And this, and I, I gotta say this, alright? I'm, I'm excited for Pride 2. I'm, I'm very excited for Pride 2. It's, it's, it's a really good, it's a good experience to have just being yourself and just go out there and wrestle and perform for the many of fans that attend this event. We got some news for prior to. No, we didn't have a date yet. There's no date yet for this show. But if I am the one that pulls the strings, I'd rather have the show on the 20th or the 27th. Not the 13th. I want it on a Saturday. Because the weekend. Of course, pay-per-views on Sundays. But this is a Pride show. This is not a pay-per-view event. This is kind of a fixed in event. But it's just an event. It'll feature many matches. Many stars coming over to, to the show. I can confirm that Mar Rivers and Mike Baylor slash Mike Rivers will be attending the show. And, be, and will be performing in the ring. Another name that we might, um, ah, I, damn it, why is it so freaking loud? Let me turn this down a little bit. Another name that will be in this show is Zame 2 ko and, and another, and a tag team that will be on the show, hopefully, once they get their attires ready, is Royal Flush. If you don't know who is Royal Flush, they've wrestled in... Wrestling Cup Classic and um, Fire Pro Online. They're a good tag team. They're talented as fuck, for real. Mateo's freaking awesome. So, yeah. Those names are... Those names are in the book. They will be... Performing, wrestling, and they will be actually... You know, having, having fun with this time, bruh. It's pride. It's time to be yourself. Fuck what everybody else thinks. Alright, so, um, I, I'm gonna know what's the next joint. Hold up, man. Renderforce.com Mid Sun Wrestling is going to have a special cross the country show. If it even is a cross the country show, because the way Dom is telling me what he wanna do, it's unique to them. It's probably not unique to y'all, but we're gonna but MSW is gonna have a um a rumble type match. A rumble type event. All championships will be on the line. But the main event will be a 30, I think, 
either 30 man rumble like match. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to do women because they don't really because they really they really don't got no they, they don't got enough women people women to be in the to be in a rumble match. But okay, so we're gonna have a rumble winner goes to their biggest cross the country show or if it's not a cross the country show but the biggest event on Wrestle Empire weekend speaking of Wrestle Empire weekend I can confirm that NAW Wrestle Empire is going to have a weekend supercards in the zero brand one of them is MSW's little um Supercard, and we know we know NAW is going to have Wrestle Empire, and then during that, what the fuck was that? During that um weekend, it's going to be a lot of good shows, a lot of big shows, such as Superstars, little Supercard, maybe thing of a Jigabob, hopefully. Um, MSW is going to have their stuff, and I don't know about AOW. Because they already have a supercar plan for September. But hey, we, we, we see as time flies by, alright? So, I have been doing some mystery stuff behind the scenes. So, I'd rather just come out now and tell you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do this thing called the Square Circle Chronicles. And, like, the Square Circle Chronicles is going to be, like, a little series about E-Feds. Wrestling Feds. The fuck? <laughs> it's going to be about, you know, other Feds. You know, whether they're in the Zero, whether they're in the Zero con- concept, the con- what the f- If they in the Zero area, or if they in, you know, others. Such as another, if, another Fed outside of this circle. Poppy might do something for the three TP, but you know that's just that's just what we want to do. You know that's just something I want to do, and I might get episode one ready. I don't know, still working on it. So yeah. So people want to know what when we going to do the tournament of survivors. I really have no answer for that, but I think I could come up with something to make it happen. Tournament of Survivors is supposed to be a hardcore deathmatch tournament for eight of the best hardcore deathmatch wrestlers to come together, beat the shit out of each other, and become the tournament winner and also become the survivors you might have a championship called that think about this zero survivors championship or just a survivor championship of you know hardcore wrestling so yeah tournament of survivors i i kind of want to do it though i, I kind of really want to do it now but like um tournament of survivors is coming is, it's coming soon. We just we don't have a firm date, but I could tell you who could be in this joint. I don't know. <laughs> maybe trauma, maybe another hardcore wrestler or whatever be in this tournament. So get ready for some fun, all right? If you like deathmatch wrestling, if you want hardcore wrestling, Tournament of Survivors is coming soon and it's going to come near you. Okay? Okay, and um, I think there's another news we could cover. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to um mention this for the Pride show. The zero weight championship will be on the line during that show. No ifs and buts about it. the zero weight championship will be on the line. All right, all right. Y'all can finally rejoice. Y'all can finally rejoice and be glad in it. Coliseum is back and it's going to be better. It's going to be... 
Okay. I'm going to tell you this, all right? Coliseum is back. Okay? But there's going to be a twist in it. Maybe. It's about the idea, all right? Because when I was thinking about Coliseum, I, I was thinking about something more, not professional, but grittier. I don't know what it's going to be, but Coliseum's coming back and it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit, have little changes here and there, or a big change. Because one of our um, next Coliseum shows might be called Brutality. Let that sink in, all right? Brutality might be your next Coliseum show. And this is gonna be a lot interesting, and I'm and I'm gonna try to get more stuff into it. All right, so Coliseum's back. It's gonna be a little different, maybe, and it's gonna show a lot more violence of fighting. I don't know, but it's just something. All right, I I need to, I had to cover it because Coliseum was something I made. Well, in real life. I made it, but um, Coliseum's gonna be. It's gonna be some. It's gonna be big, okay. It ain't gonna be bigger or big, big, big. It's gonna be something I would. It's gonna be different and bigger, maybe. If I get more people in the roster, it'd be kind of fun. But you know, yeah. And finally, we have NAW. Okay, this is gonna be some alright. Alright. So NAW is is coming to the crackdown show. It's gonna be big. Well the crackdown's gonna if y'all gonna watch episode thirty one this Thursday, whenever I upload this, um Mal's going to announce something for crackdown. If you don't want no spoilers, because Mal told me this, it's going to be two matches, two multi-man matches for the big titles, the women's and the men's, also known as the also known as the NAW Championship. It's going to be multi-man matches. It's something and with a special stipulation. In this match to make it more interesting, you wonder what it is? Episode 31 this Thursday, so yeah. But I can say that NAW is kind of looking for more talent, maybe for uh, maybe for something in July or Wrestle Empire weekend. So, you want to be a part of it? Let me know. So, this was Zero News. You know, something new I might do every once in a while. So, that was it. That was all. That was everything I, I wanted to cover on this short little time. Well, not short little time, but like a short little episode. I don't know how long it's going to be. I really don't know. I split it into certain parts so I could, you know, do some little magic okay trying to be a little fancy but um yeah so we covered everything i wanted to cover because i don't feel like typing a lot so yeah this was zero news bring you the news to the zero wrestling family you know that and link here see you next time ciao this was an awkward ass episode, I swear.